Hey guys, this is Superfly Todd, and let's play EverQuest episode number 8. Okay, as we left everything off last time, we're at uh, level 24 wizard, uh, 1,280 mana points, uh, 1,006 hit points, intelligence at 238. We just hit level 24, and we're going to go get our spells here. So we have, I think, our 23 and 24 spells that we need to get. So let's go pick those up really fast, and then we're going to work on doing the daily quest. Let's do that. And this will just take a second. So we run up here. So I think there's only one level 24 spell and a couple of the 24 spells. Now, don't forget, I am, uh, as a wizard, we get tons of port spells. I'm not buying those right now. I'm just worried about uh, getting spells to help us level out. So that's kind of what our focus is right now. So let's go down here. Dun, 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 dun. So we still are at this vendor. So one we want to get is our major shielding. Dun, dun, dun. Right here, we'll pick that up. Just one of those. Then we want to go down and we're going to pick up. Let's see here. We're going to pick up our frost shock. This one. And I do believe that's it. There's some uh, other targeted, you know, area effect spells and stuff like that. We're not really worried about those. Just direct single person or single player damage or monster damage. Just the necessities, really. All right, so we'll take this. It replaces this spell here. This is a level 8 spell. Replace that one. We're going to go ahead and... We'll place it up here. This is our shield spell, which we actually have six left. Now, I imagine we're going to fizzle the crap out of this spell here. And we'll go over here so you can just see how many times I fizzle. Oh, that's actually not that bad. We have 46 minutes on that spell. All right. We have one minute less on our lesson from last time. But we have a fresh lessons to burn, so we will... Uh, burn that probably during our daily all right so that's it for spells let's go pick up the daily down here quick way we just fall down we have yeah we do have uh, so on right now so we have 13 minutes left on that all right guys so we gotta get up here and we're going to talk to this vendor, Franklin, get our daily hot zone quest. So we're 24. We're not going to worry about the 25. We're just going to work about on our 20 spell. Uh, Paul Dial uh, Caverns or whatever. Doesn't matter. And we'll go run over there. We have to kill some cultists and bandits. Hmm. I wonder. Last time I did this one, I maybe there might be some down below at the first camp, but it might be up at the higher camp. So we'll have to find out. So we'll run over to that zone. It's only a couple zones away. We're gonna zone into the nexus. Like this. Okay. And then we literally just run directly across. And get a little achievement there for first time you get in this zone. And if you remember last time, we actually joined a guild, Black Valor. So shout out to all Black Valor uh, guild members, which seems to be quite a bit. A lot of them on, so this seems to be a very uh, uh, active guild. All right. I see somebody running over there. Get another achievement for being the first time in Shadow Haven. Let's 
let's see. Oop. That's where that person was. They are level 105. And oop, we missed the stairs. How did we miss the stairs there? And once we cross this little bridge, we will be in the zone. Now, did we pick up our invisibility? We're going to want to mem this really fast. The only reason why I want to mem this is right at the beginning, there's a mushroom that is there. And we don't want to have to deal with him. We'll just move past him. There's also another named at that first camp that uh, we don't want to deal with. Just because we'll get a lot of ads if we have to try to deal with him, so. It's a owl slash, like, bear. Kind of a weird creature. Let's invis up here. Of course, we're going to fizzle a couple times on this. Okay. And let's see here. There's one other person in the zone. Yeah, these are the what these are the mobs that we need. Alright, so let's do this. Let's start clearing this camp. Okay, we have our Alright, we're good to go. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, there's a swindler. Some of these are low level mobs. Probably should have came closer to 20. But that's okay. That's okay. There is a blue mob. We get two on this one. Burn him down. That was one. One of our fives for our daily. there right on okay we're doing pretty good couple there's one in there there's swindlers though we don't need the swindlers um, there's a pit pocket there's a bandit there Puts us at two out of five. And there's yellow eyes. Burglar, pickpocket, and there's one more in here. 
We need this guy. Take a look here. Okay, we're still getting experience, and we're at three out of five. What's in here? There's just one guy left. We do need this guy. This guy's a bandit. So we'll go down here and fight this guy. Him and his fishing pole. met up while he takes him out. Oh, we got a breastplate. That is not for a caster, so we will hold on to it. Probably uh, sell it. Okay. Yeah, I think this is it. Let's go up and check out the next camp. Oh, somebody just killed this guy. Let's clear the corpses. We just need one more. And then we have the hard choice of deciding what armor piece we're going to get from the rewards to put on. Now, you can only do the quest every 24 hours, so we will... Uh, Probably be able to close to 25, and we'll do the 25 class tomorrow or the next video, whatever comes first, right? All right, let's head up this way. There we go. There's a bander right there. Wow, he ref. Did he? No, I squirted some damage on him. I thought he resisted. Alright, so there we go. We have the daily quest completed. We'll sit here and met up here and we'll decide what we're going to go with. We have a choice. So we have one empty slot. Our shoulders and our back are both empty right now. Um, our belt is... I mean... It, any one of the rewards we need, but we have two empty slots, so let's probably look at filling those slots. This one here, looking at the additional benefits here. This one has mana region. I think we should go for this first. Okay. Let's see, where do we put it? Here, and that goes around our waist. Replaces that. That gave us uh, 249 and also 1300 on our mana cap. So, right on. So, we are done here. Now, we could, since we're here, let's just take a look. These were kind of easier mobs. A lot of greens. Let's see if we ran past this, guys. We didn't get aggro. We'll kill this guy really fast. We'd love to get to 25 here today. Oh, we got some arm pieces. It's all bronze there. As so we go up here, there's some mobs up here, and I think they are higher level. Oh, we actually got an aggro. Oh no, these are level 15. Let's get out of here. Let's go find a place that uh, we can get some experience from.
All right. Let's sell here really fast. We'll actually even met up while we're selling. A lot of this is just vendor junk. We don't really need. Let's see, we have that, we have that. We don't need that hammer. Let's destroy this hammer because we don't need it. We got some legs to sell. Nothing really worth a whole heck of a lot, but let's just clean it out. Sell that. This. Uh, can't sell that, but we can sell that. We don't need that chest guard. We'll sell that. Chest armor, I mean. Can't sell this, so we'll destroy it. Right on. All right, let's continue off, shall we? Let's go get level 25. Somebody has been slaughtering. Hey, that bog rat is blue. We'll take the free experience. Well, not free, but uh, easy experience. And then I think once we hit level 25, well, maybe wait until 26. 26, we'll start looking at buying some of that uh, armor pieces upgrades, moving to ornate armor. Uh, that way it would be a good replacement for the vendor, the cloth, and some of the junks armor that we have on that we got from the kind of the tutorial. Here we go. Let's go. go ah. there we go pretty close probably after this kill So with that item that we just got, we'll look at this, hit point regeneration and mana regeneration. So we definitely, that was a definite plus to get. Also, don't forget, we have two augs here that we still have to go ahead and equip. Um, they're both level 25, so there's nothing we can do until we get to 25. Oh, he resisted that one. There we go, level 25. So speaking of those augs, let's put these on. Uh, we'll put one here in the shield because we'll probably keep our shield. Um, definitely keep, put one here in our waist that we just got because we're going to keep that for a while. Right on. So now we are looking at, let's review our stats. 1,386 mana pool, 1,112 hit points. And we are sitting at 250 on our intelligence. So we're done killing these trants. So let's get out of here. Go to the next camp. Let's go to the next camp.
At 25 too, I think we get some really good spells. So we'll probably look at getting those at the next episode when we start looking at uh, when we get our 26 armor, we'll pick up those spells. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading up to this area where there's these thorns. We will fight those, and it's really good experience until level 30. So we'll be staying there, and it will go pretty fast. And our sows fade off right before we get to the camp, which kind of sucks. There we go. We got a short-term speed buff. So, okay. We're at the camp. Let's met up for a second here. Uh, we can also work on our mid skills because if I look, I think meditation. We are at 145, so we got five skills we can do, work on sitting here. Get our mana back. And those are the thorns that we'll be killing. And see, those are level 25. Somebody in the guild just got their epic 2.0. On my main character, which was an enchanter, I have my epic 2.0. Uh, that was a really really good achievement i was glad to get that done and, and have that so all right so we're killing this guy let our merc get some uh aggro on this guy maybe not <laughs> as he stunned me there go on get some aggro let's pop this lesson Oh, look at that. We got a bracer. Ah, uh, it is plate. So, not for a caster. I don't know. I don't think we've seen any caster armor drop. Boy, that would be really nice. Let's see if one of those will drop. So, we popped our lessons. Gave us almost a full, it gave us over a full bubble. And you can see Dalar's weapons change. He now has kind of the Wolverine claws. Uh, we won't keep any of that. Well, I don't know if these are worth anything. Very little of this stuff is worth anything. This guy's yellow. We already got two bubbles. Some of these storms you got to be really careful because they actually will cast a heal. So when those ones come out, actually, I typically that's when I burn them. I just uh, keep casting on them and just burn, burn them down quick. Look at three bubbles in. 
Three kills. go got a big guy here this guy is red we'll take on some easy ones and leave the red for now Okay, meditation's going up. Chance we level after this guy. Ah, we killed him but did not level. It means we have probably just a sliver left. Ah, oh, so close. What are we at? We are at 98%. Our clarity's wearing off. Let's let the uh, servant cast our clarity and save one of our pots. Uh, I think he threw a heal on me, which was okay, but I'd rather have some uh, clarity. There we go. Right on, and he gave us our 15 minutes of clarity. So right on. Okay, guys, level 26, 1,432 mana pool, 1,120 on our hit points. Still sitting at 255. We're still under, just slightly under the uh, mana cap or the intelligence cap. It's uh, 255. So we're a little off here. Let's kill one more here just for good measures. I'm telling you, these guys are really, really good experience, especially when we have our lessons popped. It's uh, it's definitely worth our time to be over here. And our meditation just keeps going up. So, awesome. We'll definitely take that. That's worth some money. All right, guys. Well, why don't we wrap it up here? When we come back, we will power level probably uh, get some more, a couple more levels. We are 26. We are qualified to wear ornate armor, which is a huge upgrade for us. So what we'll do is probably go to the bazaar, look at purchasing some armor, and then uh, getting back to doing some more leveling. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Hey, don't forget, I stream on Twitch. Take a look. Do a search for Superfly Todd on Twitch. Uh, I was doing some EverQuest uh, last night. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, but Or come check me out a little bit on uh, Twitch. All right, guys. Until next time, have a good one.